Katara is a waterbender from the Southern Water Tribe, and she has a brother, Soka, and she is just walking in the Southern Water Tribe trying to find tiger seal, and they come upon this boy in the ice, and they save him, they get him out of the ice, and he ends up being the Avatar, and she goes on this long journey with him, and she tries to keep him safe, and they get really close. There's a lot of martial art training. Um, I started in October, and then through October to February, in February I moved down to Philadelphia, and myself, Dev, Noah, and Jackson, we did boot camp, as they called it, and it was like eight hours a day, training really hard. We learned also wire work, which was really fun. And I learned Tai Chi and Kung Fu, so that was fun. Never done martial arts. I used to be an ice hockey player, um, which is a little wacky, but yeah, I did that. Um, but never martial art training, so it was so much fun learning a new thing. I'm a waterbender, and you're actually born with it. Uh, Soka is not a waterbender, he's a warrior. But with this talent, you also have to work really hard and get better at it. And through the movie, uh, throughout the movie, you see uh, me and Ong, you know, practicing waterbending. Ong is the avatar, and the avatar has the ability to bend all four nation, all four elements, um, and that's really rare. You know, <laughs> he's really special, um, and. I am very close with Ong. I have a, like a spiritual connection with him. And he is like, we're just best friends. You couldn't get any closer. <laughs> so good. Jackson is like my real brother in real life. He's crazy. Um, but Soka and Katara, they love each other to death, but they definitely tease each other. Um, in the first scene of the cartoon, which is, there is a scene in the movie, and she's practicing water bending, and she thinks she can do it, and she's great at it, and of course, Soka ends up getting wet all the time, and he <laughs> gets mad at her, but um, throughout that, they love each other. He has a boomerang, and he's a little upset he can't bend, but he's a really good warrior. M. Knight is so amazing to work with. I'm so lucky to get the chance to work with him. And he is such a great director. His vision for this movie, like I just said, is so, family and spirituality and all that is so important to him. And you can completely see that, that that shines in the movie. The land was, Greenland, the land was so untouched and unreal and beautiful. It was one night we went there, we had to stay a little later, and it was 31 below. It was insane. We had, like, heaters in our jackets. We had these really big boots. It looks like I'm 30 pounds heavier in the beginning of the movie. Uh, the experience of shooting in Greenland was amazing and unreal. The land was untouched, and... You know, the th funny thing is, is that in case of a huge snowstorm, they don't really have, like, street signs. They have these houses that are colored, like, say, the hair salon would be, like, the yellow house, and the doctors would be the red house. I thought that was so interesting. Well, in training, I started off with Kung Fu, because Kung Fu is kind of, like, the, the baseline. And then... Water bending is like Tai Chi. Kung Fu is force against force, and Tai Chi is using the other person's force against against themselves. And um, that was a lot of fun. And in the movie, you see uh, Ong and Katara do a lot of these beautiful Tai Chi scenes when they're just practicing and they're just together in this one moment in time, and it's beautiful. And then in another scene, you see Katara in... And, um, and Zuko completely fighting and battling for their life, and they're also using water. So wa a water also, unfortunately, can kill you. It's, you can have a big tsunami, and it can really harm people, but also it can save people. So th I thought that's so interesting. Tai Chi is so precise that even if your hand's like this, it has to be like this, and it makes like a big difference. So the moves, learning the moves was hard, but when you see it with the water in the movie, it's unreal. There was one scene that was challenging, but one of my favorites to shoot 
was that it's Katara and Zuko fighting. And um, it's challenging, but also one of my favorites because you get to use acting and your martial arts together in one scene. So I thought that was really great. I got the chance to see the movie about two weeks ago, and it's so fantastic. I was so excited to see it. Um, but it's like it's like Lord of the Rings, Star Trek. It's it's a it's going to be a great movie, and it's the great thing is that it's for all audiences. It's not only for kids or only for adults. Anyone can go watch it really because it has spirituality, it has family, it has values. You know, the battle between good and evil it has everything.